What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today uh and today 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 we are basically heading down to Chipotle. Yeah, um you, I mean there's nothing new about that. Your boy loves Chipotle and uh that's what we're gonna cop today. You guys probably saw from the last video uh, I showed you guys I have a little side hobby. So yeah, your boy just picked up a MacBook Air for $60. I think that's a pretty damn good deal if you ask me. I mean there's something wrong with it obviously. I mean it doesn't turn on. But $60 for like a complete MacBook. You need to use it for parts, part it out, um whole bunch of good stuff or you know just repair it. So we're gonna go ahead and figure that out. That's gonna be off the camera. Obviously this is a car channel. But we're gonna get some Chipotle, head down to the house and then I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with the 650i. It's been an absolute pain in my butt but uh hopefully we can get that situated in today's video Dude, guys this is the same exact parking that i came to yesterday um this is meant to be all right guys so i just have my chipotle i'm here with my brother he's actually picking up his car from the window incident and uh it had a check engine it said it was for some kind of air leak uh we're well, not air leak what is it called the last time we had the check engine light it was because of the ambient temp sensor. So they said it was the ambient temp sensor. That's what we thought as well. Well, yeah. actually, it was missing it, so we needed it regardless. Yeah, exactly. So we got that done, but then it still threw a check engine light for a misfire, but they already did the spark plugs and ignition coils. And what, what I mean by they, the car is a soul of car, so BMW has to warranty it for 15 years. Um, for those of you guys who don't know that, if you have a 328, you have 15 years of warranty for free if you're under 150,000 miles. And uh, yeah, depending on the year, if you're already, like, if you're a 2007, you have about three years left on that warranty. So I would take advantage of it. So BMW right now, they actually, so the misfire was in cylinder six. We thought it could possibly be made a spark plug because they replaced the ignition coils. Turned out to be a valve cover and they did the valve cover. So he has a brand new valve cover in the car. We didn't have to do that. They did it completely. Parts, labor, all that good stuff. Pick it up and hopefully no more check engine, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. And oh, you ever seen those, uh, those memes? on YouTube where you drive and like oh my god <laughs> okay yep y'all can hear can you hear buddy oh my god the amount of sound you can hear it we need more buildings around That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. Guys, look at the beast. It's not even a beast. I mean, it's slow as shit. My car's probably faster. But anywho, um, oh my god, that is gorgeous. I mean, that's the thing, guys. It's electric, but it's still a beauty. All right, let's go ahead and drop off one of you guys' orders real quick. Woo! All right, guys, just drop it off a package. Let's head home real quick and start working on the 650i. What do y'all say? Uh, my neighbors will not be happy with that. So uh, no more revs for today. But let's go ahead and get the keys to the 650, get it in the garage so we can go ahead and figure out what's going on with this car. Guys, my brother just made it home. See if you got a check in. Damn, this car is looking good. I haven't seen it since the wash. Damn. Oh, he already knows. He knows what he's driving. But yeah, still gotta get some pieces together for this front end bumper and the hood. But other than that, this car is looking real. Oh damn, the bumper just came loose again. Cylinder head cover cracked. So they went ahead and just replaced the whole valve cover, gaskets, bolts, all that good stuff. So that's all new, right? And you have new ignition coil, spark plugs. That keeps popping. But other than that, let's go ahead, get the 650i in here, pop the roof down, and uh, see if we can go ahead and fix that uh, that roof situation. So uh, let's get it in here. Guys, we're getting some new spacers for this car soon. Pretty much the suspension where it's at looks absolutely amazing. The Keys Motorsports lowering springs from H&R actually makes such a big difference. The entire gap is pretty much gone. And once we bring out these wheels a little more, it's gonna fill in the gaps completely. It's gonna look so sick. That's actually coming up in the near future. But as of today, the roof is just not closing. And I won't, I'm not able to roll up this window, which means a whole bunch of dirt and a whole bunch of things are getting in the interior. And I just don't feel safe leaving this car out because it's so accessible. So think I can lift it. I can lift it. Ah, so heavy. Guys, these shocks are so heavy. Anywho, um, so yeah, we gotta remove this faceplate. I, I might be able to actually hold this up somehow. Let me see if I can. Oh, dang. Okay, that thing just falls. Hold up. Let's figure out a way to keep this thing up. You know I do it for the family. Yeah. Give a fuck about it, Grammy. Yeah. Cause they will never understand. Look at my 330i. This is the original wrap for my first ever BMW. I still have enough roll for pretty much a bumper, but I'm keeping this as a little hood prop for now. So I went ahead and removed this whole faceplate. This motor right here, we're gonna go have to go ahead and remove it. So uh let's go ahead and figure that out real quick. Alright guys, just remove the two screws. I don't know why there's zip ties on here, but let's go ahead and unzip it. Pull up in the truck, 
got a stack tuck. I remember I was fucked, couldn't make a buck. Stuck in a rut, trying to take flight. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out how to disconnect this cable right here. Um, I have no idea, to be 100% honest with you guys. So from a video I just watched, apparently they should just come off. Like, literally just pull off. So uh, let's go ahead and just try to pull these suckers off. Huh. Wow, they come off really easy. Bam, just like that. All right, guys, so now that you got the motor out, uh, we just have to take apart these six screws right here, and I have this new kit that I'll be linking down below as well. And for those of you guys who have a Z4, any kind of convertible with a soft top, pretty much these are the new motors that I need to install. So uh, let's go ahead, you guys can see, that completely just destroyed that. Uh, let's go ahead and remove all these bolts and replace that. Cause they ain't been through what I have been through. And we never had a plan B. Just like that, guys, that is how you rebuild the motor. So let's go ahead and install this new motor. Never for worse or better, fuck a granny family is forever. Like six letter, then first letter, then third. So we got the motor installed and all the new gears into it. Let's go ahead and install this guy as well. Pretty much the only way this is installed is that you just tuck it. Literally, all you do is tuck it on both sides. So uh, let's go ahead and just tuck it on both sides. And uh, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. What, what was happening was the roof was not able to lock. Basically, as soon as it gets to here, it won't actually come down. It'll just stay this high. It won't actually come down or latch. So either what I fixed today is going to help it latch, but it's still not going to come down all the way. Or maybe that motor actually pulls it down to the, the least, the, like the rest of the amount and latch at the same time. So that would be absolutely ideal and perfect. So we're about to find out how effective this repair was this is a $30 repair co compared to a $300 motor so obviously saving $270 it was very easy honestly very easy so let's hope to god this this top actually works got the keys hop in the hop in the bird guys this steering wheel from Azza oh my god all right let's go ahead and give it a little quick little startup V8 action okay okay I mean not bad it's not too shabby just go ahead nothing on the roof Okay, okay, so will it latch? That's the question. Please, please, please. Come on. Woo! All the windows. Guys! Hell yes! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, $30? And that pretty much, I, I, it actually changed the whole game. So if you guys are, if your top is not locking, $30 is all it takes. So if you have any vert, that is the problem. Again, no lights on the dash, just my seatbelt, but obviously I don't have that on. I went ahead and ordered all the modules. So we're still waiting on a couple modules to get all these service lights off. But uh, if you check out the control, there's only a handful. Increased battery voltage. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but uh, go ahead and set the time real quick as well. 4.15. Okay, I'm going to turn off the car again, see if I still get that battery discharge light. I know the battery died at the shop the other day, but uh, damn, that V8 though. Hopefully the exhaust is going on soon, guys. So we got washer fluids, right fog lamp, PDC, and left fog lamp. So PDC, I have the sensors. We got to figure out which one's wrong. Adaptive headlight, I ordered the headlight module. Still not here. We got the front end, like it's actually coming together. Top is finally together. Oh my God, I haven't seen it all closed and looking beautiful in a little bit. Look at that. Headlight module is all of a sudden working now. So we have the halos, the module, and the turn bulb all working on this side. That's crazy. I see a little bit of smoke coming out of here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's because of all the dust. Whoa, what is going on? What's all that smoke? I feel like you always fix one thing and you find another. What is this burning? It's like something's burning from back here. All right, well that's strange guys. Uh, is that oil burning? Like, what's going? Oh, it's smoking up. This is some great news. I'll cut back to y'all in a little bit. So, guys, it is actually smoking like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I feel like the smoke did kind of die down, but it's still smoking. I don't know what's going on. Let's go ahead and close the hood, take it out for a test drive. But I'm really happy. All oh, the headlights started working all of a sudden. You know, the roof closed. I mean, there's always something. You know, I mean, what's a project car if uh, everything's perfect? Got some giddy up guys this sounds good will it lie first time guys please 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 this is when you guys know it's been please 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 yes guys i cannot believe we just fixed that for 30 dollars. oh my god it was showing signs of failure before and i didn't know what it was and then i tried to fix it and uh you know it was kind of working then i tried to fix it and it went completely dead and now it 100 percent worked hopefully it stays like this i'm not gonna jinx anything uh this is embarrassing i forgot my wallet uh i'll be right back finally back at walmart <laughs> let's go ahead and get all the stuff that we were missing yeah she's looking extra fine go ahead and see what we need for the 650i my windshield has a hella water spots all over, but none of these things actually work for that. But I think this would be good enough. I think it should be able to get at least most of it off. So let's go ahead and go with this. Actually, wait, this was the same brand as the other stuff I had. Let's go ahead and go with this. And just one of these guys. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Let's go ahead and head home real quick. And just perfect this baby little by little. If you can see all of this 
grime and water stains and all that stuff all over the windshield. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So let's hope to God this thing can do a decent amount. I know this isn't meant for this stuff, but it might be able to at least take, take away a good amount of it. Product I had actually ran out of, so I have to order some more, unfortunately. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead and use that. Let me get some rags real quick. Because the windows are just, it, it, it won't, when your windows look like shit, you feel like your car is shit. Like it, it just kind of feels like that because like everything you're seeing outside your car is garbage. So windows, keeping them clean is kind of important. I'm gonna put y'all on the hood real quick. Hopefully y'all don't fall. All right, well, I'm happy to say that was just as effective as using tire shine on your windows. That, that literally didn't do anything. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go ahead and order a new bottle for all this water stains. It's unfortunate. But anyway, let's go ahead and pop the hood and just put in the rest of the washer fluid. So at least that knocks out a light. And at the same time, our washer fluids are good to go. I'm gonna have to uh, get this fender repaired. That is horrific. One should washes are right here. Let's go ahead and just top that sucker off. And just like that, this car is super thirsty. Today, I think, is a pretty good day. For some reason, both headlights started to work. The top is now able to close so we can park this car out without feeling like somebody can break into it, which is perfect. Now, the smoking thing is a little concerning, but I, I came back and there's no more smoke again. So I think that's exactly what it is. I feel like if it sits for a long period of time, there is some oil that leaks out of the valve cover, and then as soon as I start up the car, it just burns it off. Because that's what happened when we first started up the car when we first got after it was sitting for like six months. And it was smoking for a good period of time. Anywho, um, the car is pretty much done for today. I am waiting on something to come in the mail. It's gonna help out the fitment of this car absolutely perfectly. I would get some Starbucks, but now let's just live the moment. Let's get some Starbucks. Let's enjoy the 650i. Take it out for a nice spin. The weather is amazing. I might as well enjoy it. And honestly, it's really like, it's really good. Just get a quick little coffee. Let me show you guys what I've been working on upstairs. So uh, you guys can see how big of a nerd I am other than cars. Guys, this car is just so beautiful. This carbon. Oh my God. I'm sure this car has no AC and it's a very hot day out, but thank God it is a convertible. So we still get that breeze in our face. Let's head down to McDonald's and look at ourselves. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a nice coffee. And no, I am not a coffee lover. Um, it's just one of those days where it's like, I'm in the mood for some coffee. So I know we all have those days sometimes. This car is not bad. It's really not. It's got some horse to it. It's got some horses. I think it has like five or six horses. No, wait, no. It has like eight horses. I mean, I'm not lying to you guys. In all honesty, like this car, for the money today, I think is a great value. Do I regret buying this car? Absolutely not. This is something that's new. I love I love trying out new things. I love trying out different builds. This is a completely new experience for me. A convertible that actually works. That actually has some power to it. You know, that V8 life. And actually, it isn't the worst car when it comes to fuel economy, to be honest with you. The high it gets better fuel economy than my 435 believe it or not but in the city yeah i've seen better day i actually have a lot of energy like why am i getting why am i getting any coffee hi we're trying to start for you uh, can I get a nice coffee? I always want to like just joke around and be like, can I have 62 pumps in there? But I mean, uh, I don't know if that's a joke. Finally, I actually use this cup holder that we have. Had this cup holder, we just got it, but uh, let's go ahead and see if it actually holds this large drink from McDonald's. Damn! Well, it actually, it kind of fits. I mean, it has a little groove on the bottom. Shout out to McDonald's for actually doing that. But do I trust this? Absolutely not. Real question is, does it taste good? Yes, I can confirm it does. Don't copyright me. Don't copyright me. I love that line. Hold on, hold on. We gotta go back. Me. Things the honest things. Trying to do the finest things. When I'm with you, I see a better life. When I'm with you, I'm a better me. Send them a flower. Woo! Bro, this car looks so good. Oh, look at all these cars chilling. God bless, God bless. Damn! You gotta get this seat cleaned up. Oh my God, guys, I cannot tell you guys how much I love this car. What a beaut. Now that is how you take care of a car. And we are in my room, guys. So I recently picked up these two monitors to do some editing and try to just pretty much step up my game. This has been my editing horse for the longest time. So these are my two monitors. I just picked these up for I think like less than 
$300 for both of them. So you know your boys out here are looking for deals and stuff. And I just picked up this monster of a PC. This is a Mac Pro. I think I picked this up for like $150, something crazy. I like looking for good deals. You guys know me. And it had this graphics card. And I went ahead and just purchased a new graphics card. I'm gonna try to upgrade it with like 128 gigabytes of RAM. This is the dual core PC. I'm gonna have a pretty high-end graphics card. I think this is an RX 580. I think it's like, it's a pretty nice graphics card. It's a metal graphics card. I picked up this MacBook Air. I don't know if I showed you, if I showed you guys this. I picked up this MacBook Air for $60 and it comes with a charger and everything, which is kind of crazy. It doesn't work obviously, but uh, just swapping out the motherboard and this thing's good to go. Make some money for some more car build. It's just a little side hobby I enjoy. I love dealing with Apple products. So I figured I'll show you guys that since in the last video, you guys were like pretty intrigued on me actually working on electronics as well. So yeah, I love cars, but I also love Apple products, electronics, and just fixing things. So if you guys want me to keep you posted on my Mac Pro build and how insane it's gonna be, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, this is not an Apple channel. So uh, the main thing is the 650i should be getting everything in the mail hopefully soon. Tomorrow I'm going to San Diego, like I said, guys, I'll be back Sunday. And then we can move forward with the build. And actually, I've been looking at another build recently. Let me know if you guys can guess what it is. Anywho, I love y'all so much. If you guys can guess what it is, guess down below. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.